Tommy, it looks like you got drill bits on your mind, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at all the selections you've got here. There's quite a selection for drills. I mean, and these I think everybody knows is a twist drill. Right. And they're great for multiple purposes to drilling wood, plastic, aluminum, steel, mm -hmm. different grades. There's a high speed steel, and there's one with a coating on it meant to last a little longer, and a, a really higher end one that can withstand a lot of temperature. The temperature actually starts to form the metal a little bit and dulls the blade pretty it dulls quickly. The blade down, and yeah. they can get hot when you're using them. Yeah, that's why if you're cutting steel, you want to make sure you use a lubricant there. Right. It keeps the edge a little bit better. Okay. And so, I guess you, you uh, get what you pay for when it comes to the materials there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, these drills over here are meant for not for steel at all. They're meant to go into wood or plastic. And it's a, this is a, a spade bit. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty aggressive bit. These little edges right here are meant to score the bore, the product before you go in so you don't get splintering as you're entering the hole. Right. And this one's got the uh, the self-feeding tip right there. That helps pull the drill bit through. This one doesn't have the uh, threaded end there, so right. you have to push a little bit harder with this, but it still has those little edges right there to help clean the hole. But you got to be careful when you get to the other side because you will get a lot of blowout. Yeah, they're, they're pretty aggressive, but they're quick, so they're yeah. really not for finished carpentry, more of the rough carpentry. Absolutely. This Forstner bit here is really a finished bit. It mm -hmm. drills a nice, smooth, clean hole going in. Well, you can imagine that a Forstner bit was used to drill the holes here in our yeah. table. That's super I clean. I wouldn't be surprised. The nice thing about these is when you're drilling a hole with it, you actually can drill a flat bottom hole. So think about it, if I'm going through a piece of wood and I don't want to have a hole on the other side, I wouldn't want to use something like this because that sticks down quite a bit. Right, and when are you trying to get a flat bottom hole? Well, let's say I want to put a dowel or a mortise into something. I want to go in just to a certain depth yeah. and I can put a piece of wood in there and it'll lay nice and flat. Perfect, all right. This is a bit that I use a lot. I carry this with me all the time. These are tapered drill bits with a, with a, a countersink right here. And the nice thing about a tapered drill bit, when I'm driving screws, you think about that screw. That screw is tapered. So it really holds the screw, allows the screw to hold well in the wood. Ever since I borrowed one of these from yeah. your apron, I've really fallen in love with them. And it's got a little screw here that you use with an Allen key, which allows you to either adjust the length of this yep. or replace it. If it breaks, it gets dull. Right, so you can change it for the different types of uh, screws. I use yours all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> all right, so now here's, a, here's one right here. If you notice on the twist bit, this flat points, three flat points. Mm -hmm. So when you put that in the chuck, you want to try to line those flat points up with the teeth on the chuck. So now you don't have to really crank it down too tight, but if it's not seated right and you turn the grill on, it will come right out. Right. So you want to make sure it's seated, won't come out, and I can drill. Yep. And it's nice to have that keyless chuck, big improvement over the old days. Yeah, I mean, years ago, and I still have drills today. You put it on, then you got to find the key and crank it down. These are nice. If you have an impact driver, there's a tip on that. You can also use this in that chuck, but if you don't, you can just push it in, right. drill your hole, and take it off. That tip is handy because you couldn't use an end like this in an impact driver. Exactly. You'd have to have a proper chuck. Exactly. So right. that one comes in handy right there. Yeah. Yep, so that's what you have for drills, and you can drill just about anything you want with the right bit. When it comes to uh, drill bits, options help. Yep, nice sure job, Tommy. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.